Um, and the final thing uh, in the bill is to remove a section of the Health and Social Care Act from 2012, which made it compulsory to make these, this tendering process public and open to public scrutiny. The bill will remove the necessity for this to be an open process. So in effect, removing the final hurdle, the final barrier for allowing a private sector monopoly to operate within the NHS. Now, none of this is being said by the Labour front bench. In fact, the last thing I heard John Ashworth say was that uh, he, he had no opposition to the integrated care systems, but he didn't like the fact that Virgin were going to be on the boards. Now, this is a total misdirection because they're not mentioning the great elephant in the room, which is the American private insurance industry. And, you know, as time goes on, once the insurers are, have their feet under the table, the services that are available on the NHS will diminish and there will be an increasing driver for people to take out top-up private insurance to replace those services that are no longer available on the NHS. So, you know, I welcome, I welcome the prospect of George winning this election because I know with, with him in place, with him, him having a voice in parliament, we will have at least a chance for hearing uh, the threat that our NHS is under, uh, he has been a defender of public services. He's been on the right side of many major political issues over the years. And we need a strong, articulate defender of the NHS. We certainly don't have many of those at the moment in Parliament.